The Mixteca region of Mexico is arid land, where erosion, chemical farming, and scarce rains have taken a heavy toll on agriculture. It's a hard scrabble life, but rich in tradition and community. Now climate change and climate variability threaten the way of life of these indigenous farmers. As politicians twiddle their thumbs and governments refuse to take action, the people of Yukuyoko are taking matters into their own hands. Thirty years ago, the village began a reforestation program. Eduardo León planted hundreds of trees as a child of eight. Today, it's a forest that produces much-needed topsoil. The main idea of reforestation was to recover topsoil and to obtain resources, especially firewood. People had to go farther and farther away just to get firewood. Before, when a tree was little, the farmer had to water it, to water every single tree. But now, imagine we're planting a thousand trees. How are you going to do that? You can't. So this combination of species has created little forests that maintain themselves. Thousands of trees have been planted across these hillsides, and that's just one of the programs that the village has started. Jesus León is a founder of the community organization that's been recognized worldwide for its small-scale contributions to big challenges. The idea that we have of how things work is that reforestation by itself won't improve people's situation, right? We have to work with water, and we've been doing that for many years. We have to work with the land. We have to work with the soil we have here. We have to work with the productive systems we've developed since our ancestors in the past. We have to work with the milpa. The communities combine modern technologies with ancestral knowledge. As the rainy season gets shorter and shorter, they build over 200 cisterns to capture the water and make it through the long, dry months. Now every household in the village has a water capture system. Greenhouses help lengthen the growing season. Juana Pedro shows us her budding tomato plants. Phil Dalberdeen has lived and worked here in this region for nearly two decades and thought a lot about the contrast between the indigenous systems and Western capitalism. And all these things form a different civilization. And a civilization that really is more and more, we're convinced, the vision that, um, that we're going to need as a human family to work our ways out of the crises that we have created. The images of traditional ways may look backwards to some. To the mixed tech people here, they're a lifeline to the future. Juan Cruz sows a native corn that's drought resistant and self-fertilizing called cajete. That way he can get two corn crops a year instead of one. Mis padres. My fathers and grandfathers grew cajeta here, and I continue to work this land, which can still grow cajeta many more years. We here have never abandoned this way of working the earth. What you see behind me are water and soil retention dishes. They were built to stop the erosion that's plagued the region for centuries. And now what they're finding out is they also serve to replenish the aquifers in the area. The springs in this region are coming up fuller every season. And there's retention of water for watering the plants and the crops of the people who live here. It's raining now in Yukoyoko, but not enough to make a real difference until the rainy season starts. But when it does, this community is ready to take advantage of every precious drop of water. And at the same time, they're providing lessons for the world through the creation of sustainable ecosystems and community-based solutions. They're teaching us that there's a way forward even as the planet faces increasing peril. This is Laura Carlson in Yukoyoko, Oaxaca.